Hi guys, Dr. Wendy Dearborn here from the Laws of Attraction in Action. Well guys, I hope your day's going really, really well. Mine is actually going awesomely, if that's a word. And if it's not, I tell you what, I just made it up awesomely. Well guys, um, I entitled this little talk this morning or this mid-morning, coming up to afternoon actually, um, Waiting on God. And how that has actually come about yesterday when I spoke with uh, ladies each week I talk with the women at Shade Tree which is a uh, a shelter really is a shelter for women who have been displaced abused and actually just need a little TLC and a place to start their new life from but anyway when talking to the ladies yesterday I was talking in regard to the show and the show comes on a little actually with it in about an hour and the show basically is called does preparing a contingency plan um, bring it about as a manifestation ie if you are preparing for, for the eventuality of something negative if you're preparing to counter that does that actually bring it into manifestation well that's something that we were actually talking about and as the converse, conversation rolled rolled on there was um, a woman who was sitting in the front and she piped up and she said to me oh you know no I just wait on God and I looked at her and I said well how's that working for you how's that working out for you and so she said well you know no 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 everything's okay because you know I'm waiting on God and I looked at her again and I said how is that working for you and again she said I'm waiting on God so then I said to her are you getting what you want are you actually getting what you want and there's a difference between getting what you want and having what you need so I said to her are you getting what you want or are you getting what you need are you getting what you need to live life? Are you getting what you need to survive? Are, you, are, are your basic, intrinsic needs being met? Or are you getting what you want out of life? And she looked at me and I said, there is. And I know there's a group of people out there who are going to disagree with me. And that's okay. That's okay. She looked at me and I looked at her and I said to her, look. There is this great misnomer out there that you truly don't have to do anything much other than sit down, sit down and allow God to do it for you. People talk and I hear people talk all the time and they say, you know, well, you know, God brought this to me and God blah, 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 blah. And yes, that happened. But you see the bit that they're leaving out. Let me just back this up a bit. Okay, because this is something I'm a little passionate about. Because so many people are sitting down and they're waiting. And what they don't realize is that they have to do something first. Then sit down and wait. You have to take action. Otherwise, nothing is going to happen. I mean, I, I, I listen to people. And who sprang to mind, actually, was, was Tyler Perry. He's always talking about how God is moving in his life. But what he doesn't say is that he is moving too. You see, people don't say that they're moving too. And people have this idea that they can just sit and wait on God. That won't, You will not get what you want that way. You will not get what, what will happen is God will use you so somebody else can have what they want in life. Hear me, guys. God will use you so somebody else can get what they want in their life because they have asked for it. They have asked for it. You see, if you don't, know, uh, oh, hey, pumpkin, how you doing? I just saw that. I'm all, all wrapped up in my stuff. How you doing, baby? I was thinking about you. That's my nephew. Um, if you don't ask for it, it's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. 
You know, the, the, the saying out there, faith without works is dead. Here's the deal. You can have a dream all live long day. But if you don't take action on that dream, like if you don't take any work on faith, ain't nothing happening for you other than that dream. You will keep it a dream. It will not come into manifestation. And so I, I kind of express that. And again, there are a lot of people out there who, who disagree. And I say this, I say this weekly all the time. People are always saying, well, you know, God knows what's in my heart. Well, if you're angry, if you're bitter, if you're twisted, if you are contentious, if you are all the things that we experience based on things that happen to us in life, if this is what you are harboring in your heart, this is where your passion is. It's God's good pleasure to assist and support you in that manifestation process. You see, guys, it's really important to be clear on what it is that you want for you. If you are not clear, how can you expect the universe how can you expect God or whomever your chosen deity is to be clear for you? The other thing is, if for all of those, all of you out there who believe in the word, all of you out there who believe in many of the spiritual doctrines, many of the spiritual texts, the practices, metaphysicians, all of you out there who believe that you truly do answer for, for self. Whichever way it comes down for you, based on your belief. But at some stage, you answer to self, for self, for the actions that you have taken. How do you think that works if the creator, the architect of, of the universe as we know it, known to me as God, whomever your chosen deity is, how will that work if you don't make a decision for yourself? If you don't make a choice for yourself, that's not how any of that works. And it's time to put that stuff aside. This is why people aren't getting what they want. You have to ask for it. It states that all spiritual texts, all doctrines in the Bible, the word says you have to take that step to God. And God will, it's a little step and God will take that step to you. God, the universal creator of all, will move people, places, and things so you can have what you want. But you see, you have to ask for it. And in Aramaic, that's ancient language from back in the day. In Aramaic, ask means to demand and claim. So when you ask God, know that you are demanding and you are claiming. So guys... If you are sitting and waiting on God and you don't even have clarity day one of what you are waiting on, as I said before, God will use you so somebody else can get what they want. And then you'll be sitting there thinking, why do they always get so-and-so? Why, why, as the song goes, I think, it, I think it is in Cinderella, why am I always the bridesmaid and never the blushing bride? Well, because perhaps... You didn't really go out or you didn't define what you wanted in, in a man. You know, and I'm talking about Cinderella, my favorite movie. I use that for movie therapy, favorite, favorite movie. But that being said, guys, waiting on God, that's okay. It's okay to wait once you have taken action and your action starts out with knowing what you want, finding clarity around what you want. What is it that you are wanting for you? And if that's a challenge, guys, tell me what it is that you don't want for you. What don't you want for your finances? What don't you want for a relationship? What don't you want for health? What don't you want for your living situation? What you, don't you want for your mode of transportation? Come on, guys, you know what you don't want. Then flip the script and that would tell you what you do want. So if you're going to sit down and you're going to wait on God, my suggestion to you is know what it is that you're waiting for. Know what it is. You just don't go into a restaurant and sit down. You know, like, okay, I'm here. This is a nice place. I'm here. This is a wonderful place. 
You just don't do that. You go into a restaurant, well, at least I do it anyway, in mind, so that I can eat. You look at the menu, you make your choice. Then when the, when, when the, the staff or wait help, whoever, come and take, take your, your, your order and take it into the back, then you sit and wait. The other thing you don't do is you don't go in the back and tell the chef how to prepare the food. Like, I don't cook my carrots like that. Why do you peel them like that? Oh, don't you beat your steak before you put it in the pan? Why is the pan smoking? You don't do that. You sit down at the table knowing, knowing and hoping that the food's going to come out the way that you want it to. And you already have it in your mind how it's going to taste. So, guys, it's vitally important. It's the, hey, pumpkin, how you doing? It's vitally important um, that you know what it is that you are wanting. You need to know. So that when you do sit and you get that little intuitive, you do sit and when God talks to you in your ear or your intuition talks to you or your higher self, whatever phrase you want to use, you know that there's another step that you need to take. And then you can sit and wait. And then another step that you may need to take until your manifestation comes to you or your blessing or whatever term you want to use. So guys, if you are sitting and waiting on God without the benefit of actually asking for what you want, my question to you is, how's that working for you? Because I know, I know it's not working for a lot of people. I see that. I see that on a, hey, Heather, I see that. Look, I got my nephew, my niece, and my goddaughter. Woohoo! I got family. <laughs> family on the line today. I know it doesn't work, guys. And again, I know there's a lot of people who don't want to hear this. There's a lot of people who've been taught differently. And they struggle. They, I see it. They str they, they're struggling. They're struggling. So guys, know what it is that you want. So you can ask. And again, ask in Aramaic is to demand and command. Stand on that word so that you can ask for it. And then you can sit down and you can claim it. Well, that's my telephone, but hold on, y'all. There you go. That's, that's how you do that one. But anyway, this is why I love live. This is why I love live. Anything can happen when you're live. It's all in how you choose to deal with it. It's all in how you choose to deal with it. So guys, if you're waiting on God, what I say for what I say is know what you're waiting for. Ask for what it is that you want. Get clarity. Ask for it. Sit down. Wait. And then look for an answer. But you need to be doing something. You need to be taking some sort of action. So outside of that, guys, have a wonderful day. This actually went on a tad longer than I had anticipated. Join me a little later, actually in 50 minutes on Blog Talk Radio, or you can go to bit.ly, which is B-I-T, period, or full stop, L-Y dot com slash manifesting bad luck. Because as I said, um, we're going to be talking about just preparing a contingency plan. You know, if it doesn't go right, bring the thing that you don't want to go right into manifestation. So on that note, guys, I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. Until next time, love you guys. Uh, Trace, kiss Dorothy for me. Kiss Dot for me. Michael, you know I love you, baby. You know, you know you're my heart. And to Heather, love you, babies. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Peace.